Wow, the sun got up way before me this morning. The birds are making noise. But I'm on a mission. <laughs> so today is part two of our refrigerant gauges or Freon gauges, whatever you want to call them. We're going to hook them up to the old minivan, check the refrigerant level, and see if it's uh, working properly. And if it's not, we're going to put a little bit of this Freon in I got from Walmart, this 134A that you can get at Walmart for just a little over three bucks. And the gauges are OMT, Orn Motor Tech affiliate link below so you guys can check them out. to the channel. Today we're going to do a little testing on the Freon here. So this particular one has a fitting down here for the low side if you have a 2005 Dodge Caravan with the 3.3 liter V6. And then the high side is over here. Which sometimes just checking the Freon, you don't really have to do the high side. Sometimes you want to check the high side to check the pressure on the compressor to see if you have the right pressure, like 200 pounds here and around 30 pounds down here on the low side. So today what we're going to be using is this SuperTech 134A refrigerant. And you can get this at Walmart, and it says made in the USA. Look at that. I don't know. But this is a new set of gauges. This is a new set of gauges, and it hasn't had any refrigerant in it. And although this costs $3 and something, I don't really know if the van needs any Freon. But I want to make sure there's no air in the lines in my gauges. So I'm going to put this can on here, run some gas through it, make sure there's no air in it, and get the air out. So I'm going to place the hang knees up here out of the way, and the yellow one attaches to the can. And the way it does, it goes just like this. Mm. Screws in there. You want to make sure that it's firm. Don't over tighten it, but... You know, just make sure it's tight. Okay. Now, I haven't really done anything yet because I have to screw this down to puncture the can. Okay. The can's punctured. <laughs> so, the can's hooked up. The can's in there. You can see the pressure's up. Let some of the gas out. There you go. Now, there's gas in the lines. So yeah, we're going to try to get on that fitting right there. Okay, it's on there. And the gauges are reading 70, but the car's not started. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the gauges are off. Make sure the gauges are off. Don't over tighten them. Just turn them off. Don't over tighten them. Now let's crank it up, baby. Crank it up. <sighs> now we're going to turn the AC on. Recycle. Okay. Let's check and see what it says. Look there, it's right on 30, 30. Let's just see. Leave it for a minute and see what it does. I 
that's pretty good. That's about where it's supposed to be. Oh, here we go. No, it's a little low. The compressor just kicked on. We want it to be about right here. So when the compressor kicked, kicked on and the fan came on, it, go, it went down to 10. We want to bring it up. Let's see if we can get it up a little bit more. Now I went ahead and turned the can upside down here. And it's still just a little bit low. And you can see the gas, when it's liquid, it goes, goes through there. goes up don't leave it up there too long and then shut it back off and we want it to be around 30 let some more in turn it off and check it okay it's still just a touch low inside again Still a little low. <laughs> Still a little low. It's gonna use that it's gonna use that whole can. I was down quite a bit. Let's just go ahead and suck that can dry. I'm going to put the whole pound in there. I didn't realize I was that low. There you go. That's just about right on 30. Let me go check it. Oh yeah. Ice cold coming out of there. That's a lot better. That came down a little bit. I might have to get another can and put a little bit more in there. No, that can still has a little bit in it. Let's try it again. Well, it's dry now. <laughs> so that can is out. I might pick up another can and put some more in there. So, I was low on freon wow so there you have it new gauges you can get the freon these little bottles from walmart a little over three bucks not a bad deal get your air conditioner going again thanks for watching <laughs> give me a thumbs up and subscribe yeah baby